Top 25 Caterpillar Interview Questions and Answers In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked by Caterpillar. These questions cover a range of topics, from technical skills to behavioral assessments, helping you prepare effectively for your interview. Additionally, we will provide insightful answers to each question, equipping you with the knowledge and confidence needed to impress your interviewers. Join us as we guide you through this essential preparation process. 1. Why do you want to work at Caterpillar? I am drawn to Caterpillar because of its commitment to innovation and sustainability in the heavy machinery industry. The company's reputation for quality and reliability aligns with my values as an engineer, and I admire the impact its products have on infrastructure development globally. I am excited about the opportunity to contribute to projects that enhance efficiency and reduce environmental impact. Working with a team that prioritizes cutting-edge technology and collaborative problem-solving would allow me to grow professionally while making a meaningful difference in the industry. 2. What do you know about Caterpillar and its products? Caterpillar is a leading manufacturer of heavy machinery and equipment, renowned for its commitment to quality and innovation. The company specializes in producing equipment for construction, mining, and agriculture, including bulldozers, excavators, and generators. Caterpillar is recognized for its advanced technology, such as telematics and automation, which enhance efficiency and productivity. Their products are designed to withstand harsh environments, ensuring durability and reliability. Caterpillar also focuses on sustainability, developing solutions that minimize environmental impact while maximizing performance. 3. What inspired you to apply for this position at Caterpillar? I have always admired Caterpillar's commitment to innovation and sustainability within the heavy machinery industry. The company's focus on developing advanced technologies aligns with my passion for engineering and problem solving. I am particularly drawn to the opportunity to work on projects that have a real-world impact, such as improving efficiency and reducing environmental footprints. The prospect of collaborating with a talented team at Caterpillar excites me, as I believe my skills and experience can contribute meaningfully to the company's mission of building a better world. 4. Describe your strengths and weaknesses. One of my key strengths is my ability to adapt quickly to new situations and challenges, which allows me to thrive in dynamic environments. I possess strong analytical skills, enabling me to solve complex problems effectively. I also excel in collaboration, often bridging gaps between team members to achieve common goals. As for weaknesses, I sometimes take on too much responsibility in team projects, which can lead to stress. I am actively working on delegating tasks more effectively and trusting my teammates to contribute their strengths. This balance enhances both my efficiency and team dynamics. 5. Describe a challenge you resolved in the past and how you approached it. One significant challenge I faced was during a project where we encountered unexpected delays due to supplier issues. To resolve this, I initiated a series of meetings with the team to identify alternative suppliers and assess their capabilities. I also implemented a revised project timeline that accounted for the delays while maintaining clear communication with stakeholders. By collaborating closely with my team and adjusting our strategy, we managed to meet our project goals without compromising quality. This experience reinforced the importance of adaptability and proactive problem-solving in project management. 6. What is your stress management strategy? My stress management strategy involves a combination of proactive and reactive approaches. I prioritize tasks and break them down into manageable steps, which helps reduce overwhelming feelings. Regular exercise, such as jogging or yoga, allows me to release tension and clear my mind. Additionally, I practice mindfulness techniques, such as deep breathing and meditation, to maintain focus during high-pressure situations. When faced with challenges, I ensure open communication with my team to seek support and share any concerns, fostering a collaborative environment that mitigates stress. 7. What motivates you to do your best work? I am driven by a combination of personal growth, teamwork, and a passion for innovation. The opportunity to tackle challenging projects inspires me to push my limits and develop new skills. Collaborating with talented colleagues fuels my enthusiasm, as I value diverse perspectives that lead to creative solutions. Additionally, seeing the tangible impact of my work on the community and industry motivates me to strive for excellence. I find fulfillment in contributing to meaningful projects that enhance efficiency, sustainability, and safety in heavy machinery and industrial applications. 8. What is your strategy for collaboration? Collaboration is essential for achieving goals in any team environment. My strategy involves open communication, active listening, and fostering a supportive atmosphere. I prioritize establishing clear roles and responsibilities to ensure everyone knows their contributions. Regular check-ins help track progress and address any challenges early on. I also encourage diverse perspectives, as they often lead to innovative solutions. By creating a culture of trust and respect, team members feel valued and motivated to share their ideas, resulting in a more productive collaboration experience. 9. How do you remain adaptable to changing work situations? Adaptability is crucial in today's fast-paced work environment. I remain adaptable by staying open-minded and flexible in my approach. I actively seek feedback and engage in continuous learning 
allowing me to adjust my strategies based on new information or changing circumstances. I prioritize effective communication with my team, ensuring that we are all aligned and can pivot as needed. Additionally, I embrace challenges and view them as opportunities for growth, which helps me maintain a positive mindset when faced with unexpected changes. 10. What resources do you use to stay updated on major developments in your field? To stay updated on major developments in my field, I regularly read industry-specific journals and publications such as the Journal of Engineering and Technology, as well as online resources like industry blogs and websites. I also participate in webinars and online courses to enhance my knowledge. Networking with professionals at industry conferences and events provides valuable insights into current trends and best practices. Additionally, I follow thought leaders on social media platforms, which helps me keep track of the latest innovations and discussions within the engineering community. 11. What are your long-term career goals and how does this role fit into them? My long-term career goals include becoming a leader in the engineering field, focusing on innovative solutions within heavy machinery design. I aspire to develop technologies that enhance efficiency and sustainability. This role at Caterpillar is a crucial step toward that goal as it offers the opportunity to work on cutting-edge projects, collaborate with experienced professionals, and gain insights into industry best practices. By contributing to impactful designs, I can align my skills with the company's mission while advancing my career in a meaningful way. 12. What technical skills do you possess that make you a good fit for this position? I possess a strong foundation in mechanical engineering principles, along with expertise in CAD software such as SolidWorks and AutoCAD, which allows me to create detailed designs and simulations. My experience with finite element analysis, FEA, enables me to assess material performance under various conditions. Additionally, I am proficient in programming languages like Python and C++, which are valuable for automation and data analysis. Understanding hydraulic systems and thermodynamics enhances my ability to contribute to projects focused on heavy machinery and equipment design. 13. How do you approach problem solving in your work? In my work, I approach problem solving by first defining the issue clearly and gathering relevant data. I analyze the information to identify root causes and brainstorm potential solutions. Collaboration is key, so I engage with team members to gain different perspectives. Once we have a few viable options, I evaluate them based on feasibility and impact. I then implement the chosen solution while monitoring its effectiveness. If necessary, I remain flexible and ready to adjust the approach based on feedback or changing circumstances. This structured method helps ensure thorough and efficient problem resolution. 14. What is your experience in the design and development of heavy machinery or industrial products? My experience encompasses various projects involving the design and development of heavy machinery, particularly focusing on excavators and loaders. I have collaborated with cross-functional teams to create innovative solutions that enhance performance and efficiency. This includes utilizing CAD software for modeling and simulation, as well as conducting feasibility studies to assess product viability. I have also been involved in prototyping and testing phases, ensuring that all designs meet strict safety and regulatory standards while optimizing for cost-effective manufacturing processes. 15. Can you describe a specific project or engineering challenge you have solved in the past? In my previous role, I worked on a project to redesign a hydraulic system for a construction vehicle. The existing system was inefficient, leading to increased fuel consumption and slower operation. I conducted a thorough analysis of the current design and identified several areas for improvement. By collaborating with cross-functional teams, we developed a more efficient system that utilized advanced components and optimized fluid dynamics. This not only reduced fuel costs by 15% but also improved the vehicle's operational speed. The project was completed ahead of schedule and received positive feedback from both management and end users. 16. What are some of the challenges you have faced in previous technical roles and how have you addressed them? In my previous technical roles, I encountered several challenges, such as tight project deadlines and the need for effective cross-department collaboration. One notable instance involved a project where the specifications changed mid-development. I addressed this by organizing a meeting with stakeholders to reassess priorities, allowing the team to refocus our efforts efficiently. I also implemented a more agile approach, which helped us adapt quickly to changes while maintaining quality. This proactive communication and flexibility were key in navigating the challenges successfully. 17. Would you prefer to specialize in hydraulic systems, engine design, or manufacturing processes? Choosing a specialization is crucial for career development. I have a strong interest in hydraulic systems due to their essential role in heavy machinery efficiency. Hydraulic systems fascinate me because they integrate mechanical engineering principles with fluid dynamics, offering innovative solutions for performance enhancement. My background in fluid mechanics and experience with hydraulic components provide a solid foundation for excelling in this area. However, I also appreciate the intricate challenges of engine design and manufacturing processes, which are integral to the machinery lifecycle. Thus, while I lean towards hydraulics, I remain open to opportunities that allow for cross-disciplinary growth.
18. Can you tell me about your experience with computer-aided design, CAD, software? I have extensive experience using CAD software such as AutoCAD, SOLIDWORKS, and CATIA throughout my academic and professional career. During my internship, I utilized CAD tools to create detailed 3D models of mechanical components, which were then used for simulations and prototypes. This hands-on experience allowed me to understand design principles and improve my technical skills. I regularly collaborated with engineers to modify designs based on feedback, ensuring functionality and manufacturability. My proficiency in CAD has equipped me to contribute effectively to design projects and enhance team productivity. 19. What is your experience with testing and validation of industrial products? My experience with testing and validation of industrial products involves a systematic approach. I have participated in multiple phases of product testing, including functional, performance, and reliability testing. I work closely with cross-functional teams to establish testing protocols and ensure compliance with industry standards. Documenting results and analyzing data are crucial steps in identifying potential issues early. I also engage in iterative testing, making adjustments based on feedback to enhance product quality. This hands-on experience has honed my analytical skills and deepened my understanding of product lifecycle management. 20. Describe your familiarity with different types of materials in heavy machinery design and manufacturing. I have extensive experience working with a variety of materials used in heavy machinery design, including steel, aluminum, and composite materials. My background includes selecting the appropriate materials based on their strength, weight, and corrosion resistance, ensuring optimal performance and durability. I have collaborated with suppliers to source high-quality materials and conducted tests to assess their properties under different conditions. This knowledge helps in making informed decisions during the design phase, contributing to the efficiency and longevity of machinery products. 21. What are some emerging trends in this industry that you find interesting? One emerging trend in the heavy machinery industry is the integration of automation and artificial intelligence. These technologies enhance efficiency and precision in operations, reducing the risk of human error. Additionally, there is a growing focus on sustainability, with companies investing in electric and hybrid machinery to reduce emissions. Another trend is the use of data analytics for predictive maintenance, enabling companies to anticipate failures before they occur. This shift towards smarter, more sustainable solutions is shaping the future of the industry, driving innovation, and improving productivity. 22. Tell me about yourself and your interest in this role. I am a mechanical engineer with a passion for innovation in heavy machinery design. My academic background includes a degree in mechanical engineering, complemented by internships where I worked on projects focused on optimizing performance in construction equipment. I am particularly drawn to this role at Caterpillar because of the company's commitment to sustainability and technological advancement. I admire Caterpillar's reputation for quality and reliability, and I am eager to contribute my skills in CAD and problem-solving to develop cutting-edge solutions that enhance efficiency and productivity in the industry. 23. Describe a time you faced a challenging situation and how you overcame it. In my previous role as a project engineer, I encountered a situation where a critical component of our machinery failed during testing just weeks before our project deadline. It created a significant delay and raised concerns among the team. I organized an emergency meeting with key stakeholders to assess the situation. We brainstormed alternative solutions and decided to redesign the component using a different material that met our specifications. I coordinated with suppliers to expedite production and implemented a rigorous testing schedule. Ultimately, we met the deadline, and the final product performed exceptionally well. 24. Tell us about a time you had to work effectively in a team. In my previous role at a manufacturing company, we faced a tight deadline for a product launch. I was part of a cross-functional team that included engineers, designers, and marketing specialists. We held daily stand-up meetings to discuss progress and address any roadblocks. I took the initiative to create a shared project timeline, which helped us stay organized and accountable. Collaboration was key. We often brainstormed solutions together, ensuring everyone's input was valued. Our collective effort not only met the deadline but also enhanced the product quality, leading to positive feedback from clients. 25. How do you handle working under pressure and meeting deadlines? When faced with pressure and tight deadlines, I prioritize tasks by assessing their urgency and importance. I break down larger projects into manageable steps, allowing for focused progress. Staying organized is crucial, so I utilize tools like calendars and task lists to track my responsibilities. I also communicate openly with my team and supervisors to ensure everyone is aligned and aware of any challenges. Maintaining a positive mindset helps me stay calm and focused, enabling me to deliver quality work even in high-pressure situations. In preparing for your Caterpillar interview, understanding the key questions and their answers can significantly boost your confidence and performance. With this guide, you've explored the top 25 questions that can help you present your skills and experiences effectively. Remember, success in interviews also hinges on your ability to connect with the interviewers and demonstrate your enthusiasm for the role.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more insightful content that can aid your career journey. Good luck with your interview.